Babe, come here. Come here. Be with me. Be with me. Be with me. Uh, <laughs> You're kind of slow today. <laughs> I'm always slow. Bye, bye, Did you really bye. say that? <laughs> This is Yokohama, and the city is so beautiful. Yokohama is located directly south of Tokyo, really easy to get here, 30 minutes by train, no problems at all. And you may not know this, but if you take just the population of the city without including metro area, this is actually Japan's largest city, 3.7 million people. I'm now on this beautiful pier, it has fantastic views, look at that. <laughs> That's the new area right here, Minato Mirai. This is the pier. If you arrive in a cruise ship, you're right in the middle of the action. You can just walk everywhere. There are multiple parks here, which makes it perfect. This got to be the best view in Yokohama. I'm in love with this view. <laughs> What a perfect day for a wedding photo shoot. <laughs> Today the plan is to enjoy this waterfront from Yamashita Park over there until Minato Mirai right here. You can walk all this or also get a boat for transport and to get some different views. Food trucks going on here, live music about to start here. What else can you want? <laughs> oh, that's different. <laughs> We're here on a weekend. It's probably not like this on a weekday. There's a whole indoor area here with a lot going on too. Now, this might be only when there's a cruise ship, but it is really fun. Were you crashing my video again? No. no. It may be weird or maybe strange, but I'm not cheesy. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Such a cool area, huh? Yeah, I found it. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> what are we doing here? What's this? Yeah, I thought, why would it go to a pier? Why do you go to a pier? To a pier. <laughs> this might be the pier where we were. Look at it. Wow. Yeah, this is the pier. Ozambashi. It was built in 1894, and this picture is from 1910. But then it was destroyed by a, an enormous earthquake that they had here in 1923, and it was rebuilt. Wow, I love seeing old pictures. Wow, look at this, baby. Earthquake resistance. <laughs> you would run right there. You would be okay. Yeah. So we were right here. Now we're arriving at Yamashita Park right here. See how close everything is. Not even a 10 minute walk, right, to get here? 20. No, it is not. It is not okay. 20. No. Give it <laughs> no. <laughs> it's less than 10 minutes to get here. What have you discovered there? Park opened in 1930. 1930. Nice. So the pier came much before. You know how interesting people here don't really eat on the streets, right? But here they're picnicking. Look at that. Very cool. Much of Yokohama was destroyed by a massive earthquake here, 1923. And you know what they did? They used the debris from all this area here to build this park. There's a historic cruise ship here and you can go for a visit. This was a passenger cruise ship going all the way from Yokohama to Seattle in the US. Can you imagine that? Pre-World War II and then after the war as well. Hikawamaru. Oh, right here we already catch the boat to go to the other side. Arigatou gozaimasu. Look at this structure here, four levels. Oh, first class dining room. 
even the original menu. First class cabin. This was the only luxury liner able to cross an ocean that survived World War II in entire Japan, and she was beloved in the country. It's not hard. For the waves, uh -huh. it'll always adjust itself. How cool. Wow. So you always know where you're going. Yeah, so cool. Come here. SOS? It's Morse code, <laughs> isn't it? This is SOS. No, now it's all over the place. It's like this, baby. It's like this. Yeah. Morse code. You learn a lot watching Hollywood movies. I'm watching you. <laughs> During the war, this ship was used as a hospital. And it also went to other countries to pick up wounded and bad soldiers. There's a reason they display the flag so proudly like this today, right here at the front of the cruise ship. Immediately after the war, this was not allowed. the engine okay. room. This is the lowest part of the ship and it is so hot here. There's no air circulation. Can't imagine for people working at that time. Look at the third class. Everyone would sleep together. For you to see, I'm not joking. Look at how sweaty I am. <laughs> yen to visit the cruise ship and it is worth it watching the movie that they show right at the entrance. You understand a lot about this liner and also the recent history of Japan. Here you can get the boat to the other side of the waterfront. 440 yen each ticket here until Minato Mirai. We're going back by boat. This cheap because this is not a boat tour, you know. This is a boat used more for transportation. If you want air conditioning, you can sit over there, but if you want to go open air, taking pictures like us, you come right here. This is Minato Mirai, the most modern side of Yokohama. This is the central business district in Yokohama and also a major urban development project on reclaimed land. Construction of all this here started in 1983. And this area is not about business only. Look, <laughs> there's a major theme park here. Look at how organized. You go on the left, come back on the right. Wow, so much going on right in this corner here. You got Cosmo World, this is a theme park. You don't pay an entrance fee here, you just pay per ride that you wanna go. Right here, this is World Potters. It's a shopping mall across the street. The Cup Noodles Museum, it's a very famous museum, interactive museum about the history of Cup Noodles. And if you walk a little bit further that way, you find the Red Brick Warehouse. It's a historical building, a cultural complex, and there are also shopping malls there. From here, you can also walk to Yamashita Park. Look at that, 1.3 kilometers. 
It's not even a mile. It's not far. There's a whole event here promoting the Olympics 2020. Although the Olympics are in Tokyo, there are lots of competitions that happen in different cities, and Yokohama is one of these cities. Now, if you're a soccer fan like me or a football fan like me, you immediately associate Yokohama with soccer or football. This is where they had the final of the 2002 World Cup, where Brazil was a champion. More recently, they had several club World Cup games here as well. And there will be matches here in the Tokyo Olympics too. There's a lot going on in the city. Hello. Hungry? Yes! This is so cool! This is a totally different taco. <laughs> As you could imagine, prices here are a little expensive, so we end up eating at one of these malls in the air conditioning. Very, very nice here inside. Ah, it looks so good. It's a banana chocolate and a vanilla ice cream crepe. A French crepe in Japanese. You can get anything in Japan. Normally, they have a proper lunch, but when I saw this and how big this is and how hot it is today, it's perfect for the day. Mm. Love it. <laughs> This is the former customs building here in Yokohama. You can see here, they preserve the structure. It's so cool. Did you know that the name Minato Mirai has a meaning? Every name has a meaning. Yes, but this one has a special meaning. Yeah, what? You tell me, you don't know? No. <laughs> Port of the future. Yeah, and it was uh, selected by the people here. There was a poll and people chose. That's nice, yeah. yeah. And it's actually Minato Mirai 21, port of the future of the 21st century. Oh, wow. Yeah! <laughs> Living and learning with me. <laughs> this is so cool, huh? Yeah. yeah. This place here is called the Marine and Walk. It is so nice. Be with me. Be with me. Uh, <laughs> You're kind of slow today. I'm always slow. <laughs> so many nice places here. I don't even know what was the best place we've been today. Look at that. Don't drink too much. Who does he need champion? I should put champion judge. <laughs> Sorry, I mandated the taste. Uh, the you're the judge. <laughs> Normalmente eu teria um almoço normal, mas quando eu vi isso daqui, e o tamanho, né, como é grande, e do jeito, e do jeito que tá calor hoje. I'm yawning in the background. Baby. <laughs> 